Hello folks, my name is Mark Wilson and I'm the founder of Accumoto, where we inspire confidence in hydraulic modeling. This is another tutorial in a series that goes along with the EPNet user's manual. This one will correspond with user's manual section 2.7, running a single period analysis. So now that we've built our network, hopefully we've got enough data in there and settings that it will run. So we can test that out by clicking on the run button and luckily everything is good if not it would let us know and we could then troubleshoot it but we're gonna just run with it with our successful run here and check out the results okay so how do we look at results we can do it graphically or tabularly over here in our browser in the map view we can change our node display we can look at pressure you notice that when we do that, the nodes get colored and we get a legend up over here. We can also do the same thing with links. We'll look at flow and get a legend up over here. We can double click on these legends to make them disappear. We can also make them reappear by going here in our view, node, view, legends, link. If we want to look at our results tabularly, all we have to do is click the table button and then we choose whether we want to look at nodes or links. We're going to look at links first. There we go. There's all of our nodes with associated demand, head, pressure, and quality. We don't have any quality because we didn't set up any initial quality settings or data. Well, let's just look at links real quick and you can tinker around with what gets what shows up in the grid by choosing columns and then you can also do a query to limit the results there by a they call it a filter okay we're just going to look at all the links and here we go we see something interesting here though a couple of these links have a negative flow what does that mean that just means that the flow is going opposite to the direction we digitize that pipe. So that's all the a negative flow number means. We have a graph button here, but that won't be useful until we run an extended period analysis, which we'll do in the next video. So that's all for now. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Please like this video if you thought it was beneficial and visit us on our website if you'd like some help with your modeling efforts otherwise good luck in your modeling